All right, guys. So I got another quick update video here on the uh, Jumper T12 Pro. I have a few other videos here on update how to update your OpenTX firmware and the Multi Protocol Module firmware. I'll link those video, uh, videos down in the description if you guys can check it out. I just want to give you an update because I had some questions about uh, these parts here that I found here, and then also a couple issues that were mentioned uh, in previous comments that I also want to point out on this one that I didn't mention earlier. So these uh, stick ends here are from FreeSky, the, the uh, Vantech uh, umbrella stick ends, uh, M3 size. I'll link that down in the description. You can pick those up at Race Day Quads. And if you're a thumber like me, these are awesome. I really love these. It just it just feels like you have much better control. Obviously, if you're a pincher, this is not going to work for you. So I think uh, if you're a pincher, there's a different series from FreeSky that you want to get. I'll link that down in the description and I'll just describe that um, for pinchers if you want that one. Got these little, um, what these called, switch covers. They're made of silicone, I believe. And uh, also from Race Day Quads come in different colors, of course. Uh, these also stick ins come in different colors as well. And I just have these on all the, the switches. So it just kind of gives a nice, clean look overall. I had some questions about that in a previous video, so I just wanted to point that out. Those will be linked down in the description. And then a couple of things here um, that were mentioned about the Crossfire module here causing noise with the speaker and I was having that problem as well and it's a well it's a commonly known problem with the Tyrannus and uh, there's a lot of videos out there already on how to fix that but I'll show you what I did for mine to fix it so you have to get inside here to address uh, basically fix the wire that's on the speaker and cover it in copper tape that's basically what it is, shield, basically to shield that, because what's happening is that and that uh, the copper wire, or the wire that, that goes from the board to the speaker is acting as an antenna and picking up the noise that's coming from the crossfire transmission, and that's what's causing the speaker buzz. And if you guys are wondering what that sounds like, I'll just put up a little video clip here of what that sounds like. So if you're having that problem, the way to fix that is you're going to have to get inside the radio. So obviously you're going to want to remove your battery. You're going to want to uh, open up this cover here so that you're going to have to pull the back off to get inside the radio. Take, take the module out, of course. There's six screws here. There's four here up on top. You want to take those out. And then there's these clips here that hold the, the front and back plastic pieces together. They're on these switches. So the easiest way to get into, to pop this off is to basically stick a screwdriver or something in this groove here and then pull up. There's a clip that's on the back side here and in the front here. And the, the, if you try in the front, it doesn't seem to work as well. It seems it works better in the back. Just stick it in there, uh, pop it up, and then it'll just come off and then you can just slide that off. And then once you remove all the screws and the module and everything and make sure this cover is open, should be able to just lift the back right off. It's pretty simple. And then uh, once you get inside there, the multi-protocol module that's now internal is across the top here. You're going to want to take the two screws and re uh, remove the multi-protocol module. And then underneath that is going to be the speaker. That's going to be right over here. There's a uh, plastic piece and two screws that hold the speaker in place. You're going to have to want to remove that. And then you're going to take the speaker out, unplug it from the board, and then the wires for the speaker are just straight. So what I did is I twisted them. That helps with um, uh, RF noise. So I twisted them up and then I wrapped the wire in copper tape. And I'll link um, down in the description where I got that. It's like five bucks on Amazon for a huge roll. I have, I bought that a long time ago. And I use it for various things to basically shield things from radio noise. I also uh, use that tape to copper or to um, cover the um, RF shield on the multi-protocol module just to give it a little bit extra uh, RF shielding uh, just in case any noise was coming from there. Uh, but basically if you twist the wire on the speaker and wrap it in a couple layers of that copper tape, I would recommend at least two layers, maybe three, um, just to give it a lot of shielding. That's all I need to do. And then I plug it back in, reinstall the speaker, and it doesn't make any noise now whatsoever. So yeah, I put a little clip up here of what it sounds like after I did the modification.
Now the last thing I want to mention is if you're going to get inside the radio and you want to adjust the stick tension on or the spring tension on your gimbals, uh, there's screws that are, um, you'll see that are on these little, little plastic pieces that adjust the height of the, uh, the spring. So obviously the taller that is, the more spring tension you're going to have, and the lower it is, the less spring tension you have. So basically if you uh, screw them counterclockwise, that'll loosen the springs, and if you uh, screw them clockwise, it'll tighten the springs. So that's how you adjust those. You'll see them on all of the different axes, yaw, pitch, roll, and then for the throttle tension, there's a also a screw there as well. And you want to adjust the one that's on the bottom. This little metal piece that uh, uh, has the slider for the throttle. I, for one, wanted everything super loose. That's the way I prefer things. I know other people want it super tight. Um, yeah, basically, you can adjust it to whichever tension you want. Um, it does get fairly tight on uh, if you um, if you screw the screw all the way down. So if you're looking for a tighter tension, because it does, it kind of depends. But it does come a little bit loose out of the box. But I even want even less tension than that. So like I, I just want it to be very very free to move. And if you're looking to adjust that, obviously again get inside the radio the same way. And the screws are really easily to, you can see them where they are. As to, and, and it should be very easy to adjust with the Phillips head screwdriver. Anyway, so that's, uh, that's it for this video. Just wanted to update you guys on things I've been working on on this radio just to get, per you know, basically perfect for my uses. And this is you know, obviously going to be my daily driver, so I wanted everything to be working really well. And I wanted to get all, you know, the, the nice little switch covers and the nice stick feel and adjusting the gimbal tension and all that. So if you're looking to make all the same changes, just follow the instructions in this video. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.